I also was able to catch up with Dr. Brian Fisher, who is MDBA Economics, and he begins by telling us on how he thinks that India has a lot of scope as we go ahead from here, especially in mining and minerals. I uh, only come to India rather irregularly. Perhaps I should come more, given the um, opportunity to do business here and, and the, the potential future that India holds. Um, I think this, this conference should be very, very interesting. I understand that you have some very interesting guests, and I'm very much looking forward to participating. Mm. Dr. Fisher, uh, you know, there have been lots of changes, especially in the last couple of years. We have more data available, and it does show on how there is more transparency, ease of doing business. All of these uh, reforms really are being pushed. What is your sense from your experience in Australia? How fast do you see a change coming in India? Well, I think um, in the world's biggest democracy, change is always going to be challenging. Now, we have only 24 million people in Australia and we find policy change challenging and I'm sure you find it very challenging. Uh, people always are concerned about change, they worry about change and getting the story out there about the positives and the benefits from change is I think politicians' greatest challenge. Uh, you know, when it comes to exploration, geophysical and geological, etc., India has perhaps less than 10% of that as of now explored in terms of reserves. Uh, Australia, of course, is nearly 100%. What do you think India needs to move in that direction and how? Well, I think, I think obviously uh, policy settings need to change, but at the same time, uh, when you have so many people, it's always a challenge to ensure that explorers and farmers and villagers can mix together and understand each other. So that is, I think, going to be a big challenge for India. Just one of the